chapter 67, the chapter of empire containing 30 verses written at Mecca. And the name of God, gracious and merciful, praised be he to whom belongeth the empire of the world, who is omnipotent and hath created life and death to let you know which is the better. He is omnipotent and merciful. He hath created seven heavens, one upon the other. Thou seest nothing of what he hath created that is not proportioned. Raise yet thy sight to heaven. Thou shalt not there see anything defective. Behold it twice or more often. Thou shalt not perceive therein anything vain or imperfect. We have adorned the heaven and the world with stars. We expelled thence the devils. We prepared for them a great fire and the torments of hell for unbelievers. They shall hear horrible and terrible voices that proceed from despair and wrath when they shall be cast thither headlong when they shall enter into hell by troops, the overseer of the torments shall say unto them, Had you none on earth that preached to you the pains of hell? Yes, they shall reply. They were preached to us, but we traduced our preachers. We said that God did not command to do what they declared, that they were liars and seduced from the right way. Had we heard them, and had we been wise, we should not this day have been in the number of the damned, and they shall confess their sins in the bottom of hell. Such as fear God without seeing him shall receive pardon of their offenses and an exceeding great reward. Speak secretly or publicly, God knoweth whatsoever ye have in your hearts. Since the time of your creation, he is blessed and omniscient. He hath established ways upon the earth, and go on all sides and live of his good things. Ye all shall revive and be one day assembled before him to be judged. Believe ye that he who is in heaven cannot render the earth dry and barren, and cause it to tremble. Believe ye that he who is in heaven and not able to send against you an impetuous wind to destroy you, ye shall hereafter feel what are the torments of hell. Your predecessors would not believe them and were chastised for their incredulity. Consider not the birds that fly over your heads, how they extend and shut their wings. Nothing supporteth them but that mercy that beholdeth all things, who but God shall protect you in your miseries. The misbelievers are proud, who shall enrich you if God restraineth his grace. Nevertheless, ye persevere in your sins and flee the truth. Is he that creepeth on his face, like him that goeth on his feet in the right way? Say unto them, God hath created you, he hath given you sight hearing and sense, but few among you return him thanks for his graces, saying to them he created you of earth, and ye shall one day be assembled before him to render a compt of your actions, the wicked demand, when the day of judgment shall be, saying to them God knows I am sent only to preach to you the pains of hell, and their visages shall become black, when they shall see the punishment of their sins approach, it shall be said to them, Behold that which ye have demanded with so much impatience. Say unto them, Did you see that God destroyed me and them that were with me? No, he gave us his grace. Who shall deliver the misbelievers from the torments of hell? Say unto them, God is merciful. We believe in him and we are resigned to the will of his divine majesty. Ye shall know hereafter them that shall be seduced. If the water that watereth your flocks enter under the earth, who shall give you other water or another fountain to supply you? And it's interesting, we, you know, refer to the death and then the life, and we talk about the different the creation upon the creation and um, 
there are certain things about this chapter, other than chapter 67 being a great one to say before sleep, after dusk, prayers, but are waiting for dusk prayers. <clears throat> 